Okay, uh, today is Friday. <sighs> you know, I, I think I went to about six sales, and what did I get? Uh, I didn't do bad. I actually did pretty good on some of the stuff. I wound up paying $89 for everything that you see, including those dumbbells, which I need. Those are 25 pounders, and I'm actually uh, exercising. I'm trying to get in shape, and uh, right now I'm at 20s, and I'm seeing if I can move it up to 25 pounders. Funny thing about these, I went to the yard sale, and I bought it with some other stuff, and then I left. I drove away without them in the car. And I, I go like, God damn it, I, I forgot those. So I had to drive all the way back and get them. So basically, I'm the dumbbell who forgot the dumbbells. Whatever. All right, what did I get? $89. Uh, let's do the video game first. And this is funny. If you want to see me seeing a whole basket full of what I thought was uh, Nintendo DS games and turned out to be empty cases, check out the scummy resellers. I, I have, probably have hidden footage of that. Um, they did have this game. The other game, all the games were like two bucks. I think they only charged me a dollar for this one, but not that this is a, an, a, a supremely or very valuable game. Mega Man Battle Network 2. I think it's worth at least ten bucks, right? Uh, maybe fifteen. Not sure, hundred percent. But that's it on games. You hanging out for games? I'm done. Uh, at one sale where I bought this, this uh, you know, this is bar cloth. Marie bought this. She says this stuff is expensive, and it was seventy dollars for one big piece and one small piece. I guess she's going to sell it on eBay. I don't know, you know. Um, but at the same sale, they had all this fishing stuff. Oh, and I'm going to post a video where she's, uh, I just show the fishing stuff that I passed up. She wanted like $5 for the big lures. I'm sorry, she wanted $10 for the big lures and $5 for the little ones. I'm like, eh. And also she had these, um, what do you call them? Uh, she called them watch fobs or something. But she wanted like 400 for all of them. And she was doing that stuff. Well, uh, I go, well, how much are they? And they're like, well, show me the ones and I'll give you a different price. I'm like, forget it. I'm out. You know, if you know more than me, I ain't buying off you. I don't, you know, I, I don't want to learn on my dollar and my time. You know, I, if it's cheap, I'll buy it and I'll learn. And then I'll know for next time. But, you know, I didn't learn that time. Um, what I did get from her was this Carlisle uh, pocket knife. And I guess it's Carlisle truck. And it was only a couple of bucks. It's got a nice like uh, probably fake mother of pearl uh, like a lucite type and it's pretty neat two bucks you know if it's not worth much on ebay i'll just put it um, i'll just sell it at the flea market i already said the dumbbells here's a story with dumbbells i go to the flea market and these guys got like 30 pounder dumbbells right i go hey how much are 30 pounders they were more because i'm working my way up I'm, i was like at the time i was a 15 30 would have been a big jump for me so now I'm at 20, and I probably could go to 25 pretty soon. So I go to the guy, hey, how much are the 30-pounder dumbbells? He goes, uh, 20. I go, take 15. He goes, no. I go, like, fine. Eh. You know, and he went home with some 30-pound dumbbells, 60 pounds of dead weight. Um, at the same sale, I think my wife bought these Masani sunglasses. What's on it? It's Inosum. Maybe it's Masani. What the hell? I don't know. She bought these sunglasses. No, it's Masani. I never heard of them. But she thinks they might be good. Um, maybe we'll sell those on eBay. Um, then I bought these. This is an unusual buy for me. These are um, heavy, I guess they're brass, spring um, hose heads. And I, you know, I paid $9 for all of them. There was like 11 This one says a Mel, Melnor. Melnop. USA. I'm going to look these up. If these are worth, and I know they're not, but if they're worth like, say, 20 bucks a piece, I'll put them on eBay. If they're worth what I'm thinking, they're probably worth like 5 to 10 a piece. I'll take them to Columbus and I'll sell them for 3 to $5. This one's actually made in Italy. Look at that. It's a uh, Royale, you know. So anyway, I don't know much about this stuff, but like I said, if it's cheap, I'm willing to learn, you know. There would have been 12 of them, but for some reason the guy took one of them out. And these look pretty standard. Uh, the only one that looks unusual is this. And I guess this is a sprinkler. Right? You put it between two hoses or something? or I guess. I don't know. Some kind of sp sprayer, sprinkler. Um, maybe it's maybe it's for kids. To, no, I guess it, no, it's got to be a sprinkler. And I don't know. So I showed you a couple of them. Let's see. What's this one? Uh... I can't read it right now. I got the good glasses on, but and then this one it's the same thing. It's Mel Nor. Okay. And there's a stupid pipe fitting. I don't know what that is. That was just in the bag. Alright, uh continuing on. 
and on and on. Okay, this is these are probably the best things I bought today. Uh, I think these are worth maybe maybe I'm gonna say on the low thirty dollars a piece. I'm gonna say on the high like fifty bucks a piece. Daryl, I called you up. I'm just gonna give them to you. You can list them, and I don't believe they're out of date. The lady says uh, the place she works. She's forced to buy them. Now I don't see a date on them anywhere, so I don't really know. Like an expiration date, but she said they should be good for a year. And I only paid three bucks a piece for these puppies. So if these are literally worth like thirty to fifty a piece, I got eight of them. So at say thirty a piece, uh, eight times thirty is two forty. So for the twenty-four dollars I paid, I'm going to ten times my money at the very least. If they're worth fifty a piece, well, that's even better. Um, so there they are. Uh, people say all the time to buy ink cartridges, especially if they're sealed, they're new, and you could probably sell them anywhere from like fifteen and up. Um, Marie did check the prices on those, and like I said, maybe 50 bucks. So, Daryl, look, I'll just give them to you. You can list them. Give you something to do, let you make some money. I'm too busy to do that stuff anyway. I got lots of stuff to list. Um, Fenton candle holders. Um, the first sale I went to, that's where they had those DS games. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I, I tell you, I get excited. I got like a mug. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you know? And then, <laughs> and I, I go down, I reach down to pick them up, and they're all, I'm like, every single damn one's empty. So I'm like, fine, whatever. But I did buy this, and I bought one record there. Uh, I'll do the records last, and when I get to the record, I'll point it out. Uh, I don't know. It's a Yankee shirt. It's embroidered. Whatever. 2X. It was 2 bucks. If it's not worth it, it's probably flea market, you know, flea market item. I don't know if you ever see these. These are glass tree yeah. toppers. See ya. These are glass tree toppers. Um, this one actually is lighted. This ought to be worth like 20 to 25 on eBay at the very least. Maybe more. You know, if it says unbreakable, then that means it's probably plastic. But whatever. If you see these at yard sales for a couple of bucks, just buy them. You can't go wrong. Um, so I go to one sale, and they got like in box uh, a Norel and a 2.25, and they have a Norel and a one ounce. They got 18 bucks a piece on them, right? So I say, hey, um, would you take? I take the bigger one, I and I go to test the waters. I say, would you take 15 for the bigger one? It's priced at 18, right? Now this is an estate sale, and they automatically go, no, no discounts on the first day. So I'm like, fine, I go put it back. And then I had a funny conversation with Marie. I, I think I'm going to make it a separate video, and I'm going to call it. How to negotiate in an estate sale or flea market or whatever, you know. Um, you'll probably enjoy that. It's just me ranting and Marie egging me on. Um, so anyway, at the yard sale where they had this size for 18, I, I did not buy, right? But then I went to another yard. And I'm saying, and I'll, I'll tell you straight out, it's not a really hard perfume to find, you know. And it doesn't sell really quickly, but it isn't cheap if you need to buy it. Like the one that... Uh, that I could have paid 18 for, I might have gotten as much as 50 bucks for. And I should have bought it, but I had my reasons for not buying it. I'll explain in the other video. Whatever. I bought this one, guess how much? Five bucks, right? So I could have paid her 15, but I didn't even have to be that patient. I did later that day, five bucks, whatever. All right, um, here's I bought some records. I bought them at two places. I go to another estate sale, right? And they have a bunch of records down in the basement it says one to three dollars right so i'm like one to three dollars you know what that means it means all the ones i bring up are three dollars <laughs> it's like yeah how much is this one three dollars how much is that one and i would say to him, i said does that mean all the ones downstairs are a dollar because then maybe that's a strategy for me i'll just i go okay i'll take the ones downstairs and then they'd be like no you know no they'd be like no we have to see it it's just like that one to three dollar stuff is bs you know just give me a blanket price or separate them into piles don't let me do the work sort them out and then you go these must be the best ones and stick me with a higher price i ain't doing it anyway i looked through all of them and there was like one record that i decided to buy and i'll point it out as i go through it and so I said, I know you're going to charge me three bucks for this, right? So I know the lady, though. This lady runs a state sales. She's willing to negotiate. So she goes, look, buy, a, buy some, buy a bunch, buy whatever. I'll go $2 a piece. I'm like, fine, right? $2 a piece. I want to experiment. Most of these I'm only going to sell at the flea market. $4, 3 for 10 I sell at flea markets. People are cheap. You know how many people I go $4, 3 for 10 They're like, Pfft. they laugh at me. They go, you're nuts. You know how many records I have that I didn't sell? You know, but whatever. <sighs> So here's what I got for two dollars a piece, and I also bought the Norel for. I figured I'm safe. The Norel, this Norel should pay, should sell for like twenty-five to thirty or something like that. 
So I, it's going to sell for at least 25 You know, even if it sells for 20 that's fine. I don't care. You know, at least I didn't pay 15 for it. Um, anyway, two bucks a piece. Al Green, Poco, Marvin Gaye. You know, everybody's like, ooh, rock. It's just like to buy rock, right? And sure, rock is great, but you know, not everybody likes rock. I want to have a selection for other people that don't like rock. And Marvin Gaye, Al Green. This is the kind of stuff that sounds good on your record player. This is the kind of music that needs the warmth, the soulfulness, of the, the itchy, scratchy, poppy, whatever. Uh, Quadrophenia. Now, I know this one was, was the one that I could sell for maybe. And if some lady was holding it, you know, that's why I didn't see it at first. But that's one I would have paid three bucks for. And I would put it in like eight to ten. And then I got Dr. Hook. Dr. Hook, I think, is kind of disco-ish, but I'm not sure... Freaker's Ball, I Can't Touch the Sun, Queen of the Silver Dollar. I don't know. The cover of Rolling... On the cover of the... Oh, I guess he isn't. Um, then I got this cool Chuck Berry. Look at that spaceship guitar. That's pretty awesome. It's not even in great shape, but two bucks. Everybody likes Chuck Berry. Yeah. And what else? Al Green. Yeah, so I was talking to this lady, and she had, was holding that one. This one I would have paid three bucks for. Too. and it's like a Donovan record this one might be worth like 10 or more I don't really know but that's probably one of the better ones I don't even look at it the records were either really nice and clean or kind of scuffed then here's a Bob Dylan's greatest hits I don't know I don't know if I would have paid this one I would have paid the three dollars first I maybe would have paid three three for this and then I bought this one at another yard sale but it's funny so I go up right and actually I'd only pulled this record and this perfume I was going to give them like eight bucks and they were like like I said, if you, uh, this is the first day of her sale, but she's willing to negotiate because she knows it's not the best stuff in the world. Just get rid of it. Make some money for your client. Don't try and like take all the stuff for yourself and keep it and not give them any money. I mean, you're selling for them. You want to get them as much money as possible. Yeah, but whatever. That's me ranting about how they run estate sales sometimes. Continuing on. Um, uh, this I got for two bucks at the first sale I went to where, where they had all those games that, uh, that bummed me out because they were empty. Anyway. So I take the records, all these records, up to the guy. And I'm like, now I'm running late, so I'm in a rush to pay. So I go, here you go. I have like 10 records, and I got this. It should be 25 So he's like, okay, let me see. I'm like, she already said they're $2 each. He says, oh, I just want to look. I'm like, oh, my God. So he's looking at them, and he's sorting them. He's going, and I'm like, why is he sorting them? They're $2 each, you know? Because um, at first he goes, ooh, like, like one of them is, is a $10 record that he should have got a $3 for. But he's sorting them. So I'm like, oh. Right, so he goes. You know, someone came this morning, uh, and they bought a lot of. I said, Yeah, yeah, I know. They bought all the good ones. I said, Look, I'm sorry. I'm in a real. <laughs> I gotta get out of here, you know. And you're like, I told you there's ten. Just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look how fast I counted. Let me pay and let me go. But and he's like, oh, Okay, I understand. I know your time is your time. I said, Look, yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta go. So anyway, uh, he looked at all of them, made sure that I wasn't getting like a fifty dollar record. I don't know, right? Um, even though it would have been three bucks anyway. Uh, and I gave him the 25 and I went. So, so that's, that's it today. That's, I, didn't even get, I didn't get a lot of stuff. I didn't spend too much money. Um, the amazing thing that I got is the kind of stuff where you got, I don't even know if it's amazing, right? But the best thing I got is the kind of thing that if you're a strict hardcore antique dealer and you're doing this to make money like me, right? Um, you have to think outside the box, right? Because there's a lot of antiques that people used to buy that they don't. The younger generation isn't buying uh, your grandma stuff anymore. They're not buying Roseville. They're not buying like uh, little tchotchkes to put on a shelf. You know, they're buying stuff that are more practical. Or they're buying like, they like uh, pop culture, right? But this isn't even that. Anyway, this is something that people overlook a lot of times. Except the kids. The kids know. They take their phones and they scan it. And they go like, they go like this. Right? They scan it. And then they, they check the apps and they check the sell-through rate. And whatever, and they go, okay, I can put this on Amazon Arbitrage. Or whatever. Think outside the box when you're shopping. Buy stuff like this because I think I already said it. If I didn't, um, maybe I didn't even tell you about this. Okay, this is, I bought this where I bought the dumbbells. Maybe I didn't even tell you about the dumbbells. I'm in a rush. Yeah. Ten bucks, I bought those dumbbells, whatever. I, I needed, I wanted 25 pounders because I'm already up to 20. Uh, and then there was a guy at the Meadowlands who could have sold me 30 for 15 because he wanted 20. He said, no. And look, I found these for 10. And then the next day I found a $30 one for a dollar. Negotiate, people. Be negotiable. Like, like the lady at the yard sale I was complaining about. If she had negotiated, she would have made $15, $3 down from an offer. I would have taken it. I would have taken it $3, whatever. 
All right. So anyway, if I didn't talk about this already, I'm I'm a little boggled today. My main, I've got a lot of stuff going on. This is the best thing I got today. Um, I paid three dollars a piece for these. I'm going to give them to my friend Daryl, um, and he's going to put them on eBay, and they're going to sell for between thirty and fifty bucks a piece. So I got eight of them. If the, even if they sell for thirty bucks a piece, that's two fifty, uh, two forty. Yeah, I don't know why I got two fifty, but it's two forty. And Daryl's going to get, uh, even if I split it 50 50 with him, I'm going to get 120. I won't have to do any work, right? And he might be able to get like 50 on these. So that's the best thing I bought. It wasn't any antiques, right? It wasn't uh, the perfumes. It wasn't the records. The best thing I bought is ink cartridges, whatever. Anyway, quick shout outs to all my friends, all my fellow uh, collectors, resellers, uh, game, video game buyers. Uh, Nah, it's nostalgic. Uh, I'll do Blue Bus Dave. I'll do uh, AJ, ASAP Zunk. I'll do Video Gamer Daryl. I'll do Chase After the Right Price. I'll do Thrift Hunter. I'll do Angry Steve. I'll give a shout out to Marie. She's in a funny video that I did where uh, I think I already said it, where I, I'm going to give you some advice on how to negotiate a yard sale or an estate sale. Um, mm, uh, living a good life. Uh, picking for treasures with Sherman. Never more antiques. Uh, I do like guys like Taco Stocks. He don't need my shout out. He should give me a shout out, but whatever. I'll throw him one. Uh, Tucker Upper. I watch his videos. I like Trash and Pallet Man. I watch him. I like Scrap Vulture. I don't know why I like scra scrap videos. I would never scrap in my life. Um, it's just amazing to me. And you know what? They're helping the environment. Anyway, this is. I'm just blah 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 blah. And let me get out of here. Um, I don't know if there's anything after this. Whatever. I, I'm going to edit these all together. I'll make a bunch of videos uh, today. Uh, gotta go super busy maybe I'll get lucky tomorrow this weekend my plan is I'll be at Carney uh, and I don't think it's gonna rain AJ should be with me there too if you're looking for video games anyway seriously I'm out of here goodbye